Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you the Improv Beginner's Guide to Civilization VI, a game that I just, I love this game, I love the Civ series, it's so much fun, but it can be kind of intimidating, and I'm just here to tell you guys basically the Beginner's Guide of Civilization VI, you know, what you need to get started, because let me tell you, the first biggest thing you have to realize is this game is freaking huge, okay? And what's going to help you learn it faster, and what helps me learn every Civ game faster, is, it's a technique they use when they study things called chunking, right? But basically what it is, is group things together and learn them, you know, a little bit at a time. Don't expect to win a game of civilization for a long time, right? So what I like to do is, well, let's say the first time I, I played Civilization, I had to learn the terrain first, right? So I learned the terrain, how it all interacts, how it works, and that's a rule that carries out from Civ to Civ game. So, you know, it's a standard rule. Then I learned combat, then I learned what the buildings do, then I learned what the city metas do. You know, how to make a science city, a gold city. Um, in, by the way, this is in game to game. It varies from game to game. And in Civ Six, you know, it's pretty easy to specialize a city. You know, you build the thing. But then you learn stuff like, okay, I want a scientific city. Do I have jungles and mountains around me? Oh, I also want this city to be productive so I can make units right that's like a double feature of this city and eventually you know as you play the game more you're gonna learn these things okay what I found is that to really learn civilization 6 take your time with your turns okay like as the game goes on each turn gets longer and longer and longer okay and what I've found is that if you're just waiting, right, for the game to load, then just kind of, like, stare at the technology tree. Be like, you know, pick a plan, right? Like, let's say my plan is, okay, I'm going to get ironworking. But when you go to get ironworking, when you pick that, you know, scientific thing, look at the rest of the text first. Be like, hmm, okay. Just the more you look at the tech tree, the more you look at the culture tree, the more you look at the policies, the more that you'll understand. So take a second, you know, when you pick something, don't just like select something like a building or a technology. Really just, just go and look at it, you know, to learn. The big thing is you want to learn everything first. That's my thing is you like learn how everything just is in Civilization VI. Then you kind of start to learn each civilization, what their strengths are. I would say don't start with any DLCs active. It makes it so much more complicated, right? And then what's going to make it easier to learn the beginning of the game is just play your games up through the ancient era to the classical, maybe even medieval, and start another one and start another one. You know, do five or ten games where you're just playing ancient to medieval and you're going to learn how the game works you know you're going to learn how it works in the beginning of the game then you know you can take those games and go from the medieval to the industrial with all of them or then modern you know and then just keep on going what i would also suggest you do is there's ways to simplify the game when you first start out okay um i would lower all of the win conditions down to just start it off with domination. And then, you know, maybe throw in domination science, domination culture, domination religion. And then eventually as you play the game, you know, as you limit yourself, you're going to learn these things faster. So maybe, oh, I'm only going to do a science victory, right? So you limit it to just a science victory and then go. You know, civilization with how much you understand the game there's ways to limit it so that you can learn how the other parts of the game work. 
Right? You can lower the difficulty. Don't be ashamed to lower the difficulty, by the way. The, the difficulty in Civilization VI, when you first start out, no matter what you pick, is you're probably going to die. That's how the difficulty works. Maybe not on the easiest one, but like if you played normal difficulty and you were a complete noob, you're going to die. You're going to lose. Okay? Learn how diplomacy works. Basically, my beginner's guide to Civ VI, you know, wouldn't it be, oh, you got to... Always do this. Always do this technique. But it's a process of learning the game. So, what I do, take your time with your turns, okay? I would say definitely start with understanding the terrain first and understand what each unit does. I didn't mention units. Understand terrain and units first. That's a big one. And then kind of go out from there. Be like, you know, when you pick your technology... Stare at the tech tree. Make a plan. You know, tell yourself, you know, oh, after I pick ironworking, I know that I want to get shipbuilding next or something like that. Or, you know, I know that after I get ironworking, I want to get irrigation next. Also, um, when you start the game, turn on all of, like, the yield signs and the resource symbols. Turn a lot of that on because it really helps you Quick glance, understand everything. Because even me, someone who's... I think I've put in hundreds of hours into Civilization games. I can't remember, like, what every single tile does at all times and what the meta of a city is going to be when I settle it. So it's very important that, you know, you turn on the yield signs and, you know, grid. A grid is very important because those movement points really do matter in the beginning of the game. And just kind of go out from there. Build up your own strategies, you know, and test it. Like, if you want to learn Civilization VI, be like, okay, I have three warriors, they have four. Judging by my information, can I make the decision that I'm going to win or lose this battle, right? Even though you only have three warriors and they have four, you know, it's one more than you. Maybe it's in your city limits. And so, you know, okay, I get that fire. Or maybe you know that... A soldier's close to promotion and they're going to get to promote and heal before they attack you next, you know? So, as a beginner, take your time to learn the game. It's very unforgiving. Like, you can't just pick up and move a city. If you build a city in a bad spot, you build a city in a bad spot. I mean, I had one game where I was playing Gathering Storm, and in Gathering Storm, you know, the waters flood. I built my capital on a place that was going to get flooded. Sucks for me, but I learned that, you know, you need to take into account the flood levels. That would happen if the world warmed up. So I had to deal with the consequences of, you know, that decision that I made that, you know, I didn't know that. And, you know, eventually you're going to try to win. Don't worry about winning Civilization. I find Civilization, it's more fun to just play it as at the start and just experiment with things you can always save and go back to a point you know early on in the game you can always save and do that so that's really it i would say this is not a beginner's guide but beginner's advice to civilization 6 if you enjoyed you can tell me in the comments below subscribe if you're new for more civilization videos if i ever decide to make more i probably will i'm pacific couch gamer i suck just as bad as you do at video games and i'll see you in the next episode stream or vlog of whatever i said to make